Tales of Monkey Island, Chapter 1. Is there no music at the main menu? Alright then, let's just dive straight in. So I've played through all the Monkey Island games except for the one that immediately precedes this one. The 3D one with weird controls. I played through half of it and I just got... I wasn't enjoying it. The controls are too awkward. They were trying to make it too 3D. It wasn't a point and click. You had to like move them around with a cursor and stuff. I don't know. the keyboard. Oh, don't tell me LeChuck is back. Behold, the legendary 13th monkey of Montevideo. Whose sacrifice will eternally bind the oceans themselves to my infernal will. Depressed yet? As much as I'll be when Guybrush guts your diseased carcass with his voodoo cutlass, you doddering sack of scum! I wouldn't hold your breath waiting for any last-minute heroics, dear. The last I saw of your mighty pirate husband, he was being torn apart by a school of my ravenous piranha poodles. All right, LeChuck, put down the monkey and back there away he is. from my wife. Guybrush! Let me a merry chase, but soon the dread mysteries of these ancient simians will be mine, <laughs> and the seas will run red with the blood of my enemies. Har, har, har. <laughs> yeah, well, fight like a... No time to waste, Skybrush. Finish <laughs> enchanting that sword before LeChuck completes his spell. I'm on it. One LeChuck defeating cursed Cutlass of Kaflu coming up. Now, where did I leave those handy voodoo instructions? And pinned to your mast! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Have you no heart, LeChuck? Wait, what do I say? Come to Guybrush, you spooky voodoo recipe, you. Well, I had to sail six of the seven major seas to find the ingredients, but I finally finished the cutlass. Almost. Now all I need to do is find some fizzy root beer to spray on it, and let Chuck's as good as toast. Nikki, disease toast. So we got 37 ounces of bloodstained silver, ultimate insult, Midas diamond, voodoo doll, enchanted root beer bottle. Have you no heart, LeChuck? Wait, nope. Nothing in there but a decade's worth of fantastic pirate food. Have you no heart, LeChuck? Elaine thought I was an idiot for buying the auto navigation option, but who's the <laughs> idiot now, huh? Alright, I'm wasting time. Anything 
useful down there. It's nothing but a bunch of lazy crewmen. I can't believe I spent so much time recruiting those guys. Hey. Have you looked at that creepy? Elaine, my beautiful butter. What? I said, Elaine, my beautiful butter. <laughs> But you keep cutting me off. Oh, guy brush. Now stop the chuckle. We're all dead. The recipe says I'm supposed to soak the cutlass in magical root beer, but I can't find any. Have you looked at that creepy monkey coffin? Right, because everyone keeps their magic root beer in the tiny monkey coffin. What's going on here? The Chuck hijacked my ship and sailed to the Rock of Gelato to finish his terrifying voodoo ritual. Rock of Gelato. It's a good thing we've got the Cutlass of Kaflu on our side, or we'd be done for. Yeah. It's a good thing. Okay. I'm fine. Finish the rest. Have you looked at that creepy monkey? Monkey coffin. Sloshing? Four words you don't want to hear when you pick up a coffin. Imagine what happens to be in the monkey coffin, does it? All right, time to give this cutlass a root beer shower. Flat root beer? What kind of second-rate food <laughs> seltzer bottle has flat root beer? Yeah, because that makes oh, drinks fizzy, right? I know video game logic. Prepare to meet your frosty carbonated maker, LeChuck. Come and get me a dirt digging doily dipper. <laughs> what do you call me? Supply of impossible to find food. I sure hope there's some on a lane ship because mine's as dry as a bone. And not one of those wet bones. I'm talking a dry, dry bone. Cease your infernal struggling. Or right, I need to put a hat on. It's too sunny. Barely see. Is a what now?
my collection of autographed sextants. We'll buy you some more sextants later. Just stop, LeChuck. Ah, three wood. So good of you to join us. Saves me the trouble of having to sink your ship. It's a lame barrel of light frog. It's like real frog, only without the taste, calories, or debilitating blackouts. Should I just free her? Guide rush. Now that we're reunited, what should we do? First, you should look for a way to replace that root beer you dropped. Okay. Hang in there, guys. We'll get you out as soon as I put an end to the shot. I'll sleep when I'm dead. More later tonight. I wondered where all my gunpowder went after the mother-in-law incident. Those roots could really use a trim. You really should take better care of your plants, Elaine. This one's roots are bursting right out of its pot. I've been meaning to get around to it, but as roots? you can see, I've been a bit busy. Is that how you make root beer? You can get roots from plants? I bet that's it. Let's see if we can cut back some of those unruly roots. Of course, of course. Much neater. This game is really testing if you know video game logic. Ugh. This root grog is bland, joyless, and jejune. It's also flat. <laughs> Won't someone please think of the monkeys? <laughs> now that's some fizzy root grog. I bet it still tastes like monkey stuff, though. <laughs> Won't someone please? Okay, you barrel of disgusting low cal goo. Make yourself useful. Glowing sword of hot monkey vengeance. Won't someone please think of the monkeys? Lechuck, do you mind? I'd be in the middle of an unholy ceremony here. Unholy this? Unholy this? Yeah, I know, but he didn't give me much to work with. Hey! Arr, arr. You can't defeat me that easily, sheep. Sheep good. Wait, what's happening? Is that how the cutlass is supposed to work? I don't know. It's so bright. What the heck? Woof. I, I, I'm human. That's debatable. Guybrush, quick! Finish him off. What? Oh, right. This is for the monkeys, LeChuck. What are you doing? Finish him! It's not me, it's my hand. It won't... Uh-oh. Elaine! Die brush? Um, that's, okay, that was, a, that was a cool intro.
party. What? Don't worry. We'll have you up and sucking back a grog in... No, my dude. My beautiful pirate dude. I'll get you for this, you craven build rat. Sorry. I don't know what got into me. Oh, this can't be good. You know, you really should have that look, that kid. Huh? The name's Nippikin. Davey Nippikin. Senior reporter, Keel Hollow Gazette. Welcome to Flotsam Island. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Actually, I... Right. I feel like I've been here name, before. Come from, and how'd you get here? It has to be said. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. And... Pirate, eh? I believe it when I see it, kid. Still, it'd be nice to have a real genuine pirate buckling his swash around Flotsam Island again. Um... Why, I haven't had an honest-to-goodness pirate story to write about in over six months. Yes, right. sorry, Bob. Nothing like the promise of a good pirate story to get the old journalistic juices flowing again, says I. Say, just listen to me prattling on while you stand there all wet and confused and whatnot. So, what's your story, Creepwood? Creepwood. This island looks, uh, lovely, but where can I find a ship? I really need to get back to the Rock of Gelato and find my wife. Well, there's only one ship here on Flotsam Island, but it won't do you any good. Why not? It's the winds, Threepwan, the winds! Here on Flotsam Island, the winds are always blowing inward 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. It's a freak of nature, a fluke, a curse. Whatever you want to call it, the result is the same. Once you've landed on Flotsam Island, you're trapped! Are you seriously telling me there's no way off this island? Well, not by ship, anyway. The only person who I think might know a way off the island is Deep Gut. Deep Gut. <laughs> deep Gut? What's a Deep Gut? Deep Gut's my secret source for off-island news stories. And it's a good thing, too. Without the guts, uncanny inter-island... Oh, is it meant to be a play... Is it meant, it meant to be like Deep be Throat, the, um... Snowy prima donnas over at the flat ...person times. from the X-Files. Off-island news? Hey, then he might know something about Elaine. Where can I find this deep gut? Hold on a second, pirate boy. Davy J. Nippikin doesn't go handing over his secret sources to every Tom, Dick, and Guy brush that washes ashore. I think so. But I can pay you, with treasure, from my ship. Which is probably at the bottom of the ocean by now. Look, kid, you seem like a nice enough pirate, so I'll make you a deal. <laughs> what? A deal? Yeah, our island news is nice and all, but the fair citizens of Flotsam are getting tired of stories about faraway lands they'll never see again. Not to mention that I hate being beholden to this deep gut person. So? So I need some nice, meaty local pirate news. I love making pirate news. That's the spirit, kid. If you can translate that moxie into news-making pirate mayhem, then I'll hand you deep gut on a silver platter. Yeah, this'll be a snap. A snap. A snap. Ow! <laughs> Attention! Club 41, Flotsam Island's most prestigious pirate organization, is no longer accepting new applications for membership. Thank you for your continued interest, and please go away. Aww. Blood of the newspaper industry, lovingly harvested from squid udders. 
Wind still sucks. Wind still sucks. Flotsam Island endures 1,138. Hmm. Hey. Hey, Davy. Tell me nothing, kid. Everyone else does. I'd rather not. Wouldn't you just tell me how to contact Deep Gut? I'll be your best friend. Sorry, kid. No can do. I need pirate stories, and you need my source. Any questions? So, what sorts of swashbuckling do you go in for around these parts? Oh, we used to love all sorts of piracy here on Flatsom. Barely a day would go by without a good bar fight. Ship season, a buried treasure cropping up. Now it seems like all anyone wants to do is hang around and wait for the winds to change. Well, leave it to me, and your sleepy little hamlet will be bubbling over with buccaneering boisterousness before you know it. I still got some questions. Fire away, kid. I'm a font of infant. So, what kind of ships are there to seize on Flotsam Island? I've only got one ship on Flotsam, the Screaming Narwhal. It has a hmm. Where should I look for? There used to be all kinds of buried treasures in Flotsam's jungles, but they've been pretty much tapped out. If I were you, I'd look for an established pirate treasure hunter to give you a hand. Won't using a pirate treasure hunter to find a treasure? Nah, if anything, it'll make it more authentic. I can see it now. New arrival helps famed pirate treasure hunter. Where is a... Well, the only bar around here is Club 41. Good luck starting to fight in that joint. They run a pretty tight ship over there. You know what I mean? I'm... I hate them. What's this? Trying to sneak some information out of me, eh? I can respect that, kid. Oh, what was that? About 20 minutes. All right. Bye. Keep up the... We've got three tasks. It's locked. No one allowed in there but keel hauler employees leave. Oh, heck. I got no inventory. Any news? Whoever built this jail really wanted to put the burr in brig. Those eye carvings are creepy. It's like a puzzle. It's an empty, smelly jail cell. Kind of like the ones back on Melee Island. Good times. Yeah. Hear ye, hear ye. Owing to the unprecedented downturn in criminal activity on Flotsam Island, I've locked up the courthouse and taken a long <coughs> delayed three months sabbatical. Please don't break any laws until I return, or else. Sincerely, Judge Rhinestone. Okay. Can we go in? Hmm, I guess court isn't in session today. Pirates plundering your palace? Buccaneers bashing your balustrades? Swashbucklers slicing your stomachs? Then you need Morgan LaFlay, Pirate Hunter par excellence. Great, the Pirate Hunter. I need that like I need a fourth nipple. Did you say fourth? Oh yeah, free vowels. It's locked. I'll take some free vowels. The doctor is busy. Sconce. Uh, I'd better pick this up before someone notices um, trips over. It's that gas emanating from my hand. I'm not sure whether this is late Rococo or early creepy.
That contraption just screams mad scientist. Or at the very least, ex Holy screaming starfish! I think I've just found my ride off this stinking island. Not so fast, my well quaffed friend. Who? Reginald Van Winslow, captain of the Screaming Narwhal. And you are? Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Oh, really? What can I do for you, Mr. Mighty Pirate? Do you know anything about Club Four? Club 41? Wonderful place. I haven't been there since I lost my membership card when I seized the narwhal. How'd you end up on Flotsam? Same as everyone else here, lad. The winds! I was chasing some brigand that had stolen my hard-earned booty when all of a sudden... Nice ship. Were you... <laughs> Good one, boyo. But I didn't build a screaming narwhal. Were they drunk? No, but they had to use whatever floated ashore. Hence, the aforementioned construct. Heave to and strike. You have? Jolly good. No one's been huh. He's got a really good attitude. Why are you so happy about me seizing your ship? I love a good challenge. Girds the mind and sharpens the loins, don't you know? Huh? Well, if you didn't build the narwhal, what? By tradition, whoever knocks the captain of the screaming narwhal off the deck gets to be the captain until he's knocked off by the next guy. So all I have to do is knock him off, huh? Be seeing ya! I look forward to it. So I have to knock him off. Look at this convenient pulley here. Hey, there's something in this sock. Club 41, probationary member number 37, Reginald Van Winslow. This should come in handy. Sheer, sexy, and playful, with plenty of support for the active pirate. That sock needs a good darning. Darn you, sock! does a thing for me. That was good. Darn you, sock. <laughs> so stupid. Then Winslow. <laughs> Bacon grease, boyo. Slickest stuff in the seven seas. Oh crud! This jacket was an anniversary present, and now it's all covered with bacon grease. Man. The screaming narwhal may not be particularly pretty or seaworthy. see a pirate selling glass unicorns for a living. Hey, and I never thought I'd see a talking Oh. Ahoy there, scruffy artisan. I'm Guybrush Streetwood, mighty pirate. Ahoy yourself. I be Gapper Crypt Digit, pirate. How'd a crusty pirate like yourself wind up making... Listen, matey. Glass blowing's every bit as dangerous as sailing the Spanish main. One false move with your glass. I can? Um, okay. I'm not sure that's biologically possible. So, unicorns, huh? Aye, graceful, delicate creatures they are. Though, to be honest, they aren't selling so well to the pirate community at large. For my next project, maybe I'll be making something that really speaks to them. Horny buggers? What? What can you tell me about? Well, you probably already know about Flotsam Infernal Winds. 
Has anyone told you about the reefs? The reefs? Aye, the crystal reefs of Flotsam Island. Sharper than a dragon's tooth, they be. They encircled the island, shredding in a ship foolish enough to get caught in Flotsam's winds. Yikes. What's the... It's the latest thing. I make unbreakable tubes in the shapes of letters, which can be used to create festive, illuminated vi- Kitchy. Aye. <laughs> Thanks for chatting. Aye. I'm guessing I might need letters from him at some point. It's locked. Arr. Three vowels. You get into the club. Here's your blindfold. Blindfold? Come now, sir. You know the rules. All probationary Club 41 members must wear blindfolds inside the club. Right. How silly of you. Very good, sir. Find the step. I've heard you make a mean gragatini. nachos! I'm so sorry. Sorry. Possessed or something. Possessed, you say? Hmm. Sounds like there may be a follow up story there. Keep feeding me these Barfo pirate stories, Threepwood. I'll be handing over the secrets of Deep Cut before you know it. Alright. We did that. Mighty pirate. And you are? Joaquin Jacinto de Mera Alfonso de Oro. Treasure hunter extraordinaire. What's that big pink pile of dolls? Action figurines. Okay, what's that big pink pile of action figurines over there all about? Those are my extra pink pajama pierres, the lamest and least valuable of the porcelain power pirates. I loathe Pink Pajama Pierre with the white of intensity of a million exploding cannonballs. Can I call you Doro the Explorer? <laughs> no. Huh. Did the wind shipwreck you on Flotsam Island too? Yes, but I came here voluntarily in search of the elusive Dark Ninja Dave porcelain power pirate action figure. What kind of treasure do you hunt? Gold doubloons? Silver triploons? Anyone can find gold or silver. I'm almost certain I'm going to regret asking this, but... Porcelain power pirates. What in the name of Davy Jones's closet organizer are porcelain power pirates? They're the rarest and coolest action figures ever. I've been tracking them with the Porcelain Power Pirate treasure maps hidden in special boxes of Porcelain Power Pirate pear flavored breakfast soup. I've spent years tracking them down. How many Pinky Pirates I've do you have left? Got the full The only set. Power Pirate I have not found is the ultra rare. Dark Ninja Dave. To find a Dark Ninja Dave with Killer Karate Katana. I thought I might find it here on Flot. Scam? Yes. <sighs> Some guy in a plaid jacket with waving arms. Oh, Some I know who that is. Map, but he just keeps sending me in circles. Mind if I take a look at that map? Take it. It's useless. 
I'll let you know if I find anything. You're sure this Dark Ninja Dave is a valuable treasure, right? It's the stuff that dreams are made of. Porcelain dreams. What were you doing down there? Nothing. It looked like you were playing with dolls. They're not dolls. They're fully articulated porcelain power pirates. What makes Dark Ninja Dave so rare? Because a bunch of pirate parents had him banned on account of his pointy killer karate katana accessory. They said it was a choking hazard. Look, it's Wind. a Ninja Dave figure with throwing star action. Well. Okay, Guybrush. It's only a little porcelain. Just close your eyes and go to your happy place. Ew. I, I didn't see anything. Sorry, must have been a leak. That jungle sure is noisy. Alright. So what, you start from this thing. Your shell looks so empty without a pearl. Hmm, curious. Nah. Out of Silence bombs. stands young Miss Mini Bombs. All the punch of larger mini bombs packed into a smaller package for petite pirate hands. You know, I better just take all of them. Hmm, curious. Hmm, curious. According to this, it's Sunday, the 12th of Manatee. I wish I were the mightiest pirate ever. Alright, so you start from the wishing well. The sun again. So we need to look for the warthog. The boar. Where would that be? No. Darn. We go down. No. What? What sort of hideous sacrificial rites were performed on this ancient altar? Hmm. Tastes like chicken. Hmm. Curious.
take that. Okay, so starting from here, where do we go? Right? Oh, that takes us in a circle. What's the word? I'm selling these fine leather jackets. What's the word? Heel hauler. What's the word? You sound awfully familiar. Don't most weather vanes only have four wind directions? Something about that shack shivers me timbers. Jungle sure is noisy. Oh, it's to do with sound. So we stand at the well. So we go to the ball. And go to the monkey. That jungle sure is noisy. Bees, we go to the bee. Now we go to the monkey. That jungle sure is noisy. Then we go to the boar, the bee, the bird. Oh God. 
Didn't I do it? I wish I were the mightiest pirate ever. Yikes. Well, maybe I have to use this. Okay, so bull. So far, so good. Alright. And the monkey. Then it goes. That jungle sure is noisy. B monkey ball, B bird. This looks promising. So far, so good. Like someone already dug up this treasure. We bury an action figure here. That's well, a good idea, but I don't think Dora would be interested in digging up another pink pajama Pierre. Oh. A bunch of can I call you no they're not dogs take I generally don't rub what did you say I generally don't rub my booty in the faces of those I've stolen it from okay Back? Does it lead to a treasure? Um, not yet. Then I don't want anything to do with it. Alright, I don't know what I'm meant to do with the treasure. not gonna work. Davy, what do you got for me, sleep? Where should I look for treasure on this island? There used to be all kinds of buried treasures in Flotsam's jungles. Okay, we're going like... Uh, I hit. Bye. Hey, bub. Nipperkin wasn't kidding about news being slow on Flotsam. The 
Watson Keel Holler Gazette. All the news. Our pink pajama Pierre, you foiled me plans for the last time. Oh, make him black, and then he looks like the a ninja. Sacre bleu. Is this the end of pink pajama Pierre? I guess it's true. Black really is slimming. So now he's a ninja. Oh, but he doesn't have a sword. Should try it anyway. Where's the treasure? Oh, there. I'll just bury... Wait, I can't bury this yet. It doesn't have its killer katana cutlass accessory. see a pirate selling glass unicorns for a living. Hey, and I never thought I... I'm back. Hey. I think I'd like one of those free vowel tubes. You'd like to buy a vowel, eh? Here you go. A U? What about A, E, I, O? Or even Y? All sold out. All we got is you Why is not about huge <laughs> I'll let you I... It's a U shaped tube. The U must stand for unbreakable, I guess. I don't think that a U tube would be Giving this away. Pick a... I need a unicorn. I don't think it would look good. Wow. Never... Hey. I don't want to blow that up. I'm back. Hey. How do... Listen, matey. I can. What's up? Hey. Reefs? Hey, the crystal reef. Yikes. Thank Hey. I'm not sure whether this is late Rococo or early creepy. Should probably come back after he's done with his patient. That's a good idea. But I should probably try lighting it first. I don't think that a YouTube would be useful there. I don't think that a YouTube. Mm hmm. So we need to light it. I don't think 
Wait, what did he say? Uh, I don't think a flower sconce would enhance the feng shui right here. I don't think... I don't know. I don't think... There has to be another way onto that ship. Something a little more... Pop Let's try that again. Oh. Yep. Still pointless. <laughs> oh, dang. Hot, hot, hot. Ow. Huh. And now the dock is smoldering. Perfect. Okay, now what? It's a good thing Winslow's undies have so much crotchal support. Oh, monkey spit. Those are some sturdy undies. Um... I don't think those embers are going out. Maybe if we put it in the salt? I don't know. Should I just wait for the bomb to time out? Then do it. Well, these size nine bombs won't fit in that size three sock. That hurt. Ahoy there! Ahoy there! I found your membership card. Keep it. In my book, possession is seven twelfths of the law. I was told there would be no math. Well, if you did my tradition. So all I have to be seeing. I look for. And be in the dead winds, crest you <laughs> in the bottle of grog. If I give you a flower, will you allow me to seize the screaming narwhal? By Jove, lad! That is by far the silliest attempt. So you'll do it? <laughs> of course not. You may. If this Morgan LaFlay pirate hunter is half as nasty as his ads, I'd better give him a wide berth. are heavy. <laughs> no, no need to explain. Okay, now what? Take that! <laughs> I'm sorry, what exactly? Never mind. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's not a timing thing, is it?
looks like this clothesline can be cranked from either side. Snazzy. I need to somehow break that crank. I don't think that a YouTube. Alright, we'll come back to this. I guess court isn't in session today. Whoever built this? Aha! Uh -huh. What the? You put one of those miniature swords with an olive in my grogatini. I hate those things. Between the cool black tights and the dangerously pointy accessory, Pajama Pants Pierre is starting to look halfway collectible. Alright, let's bury him. Shape pirate hunter Joaquin Doro to find him. Great news, Doro. I think your map isn't a ripoff after all. It isn't? But I never found anything with it. You must have been reading it wrong. Here, follow me. And X marks the spot. See? I told you I could find it. Whew. Huh? I better start digging. I hope it's not as deep as the other ones. Dark Ninja Dave with Killer Karate Katana. <laughs> Killer Karate Katana. Dark Ninja Dave. Dark Ninja Dave. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> the full set of porcelain power pirates is mine. All mine. Ow! I got dirt in my eye. My ears deceive me. Or did that portly pirate just dig up a buried treasure? He sure did, with a little help from Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Well, that's fantastic! We haven't had a good buried treasure story in weeks! I'd better catch up with that wheezy pirate before he has a coronary. Or worse, start talking to those boobs from the Times. Snappy pirate, <laughs> Threepwood. Keep this up, and the secrets of Deep Gut will be all yours! Nice. Now we just have to... Beat that pirate somehow. What's up with the creepy shack? Nope. I don't think that a huge. What's the word? Nipperkin. What's the word? Is it pie? I hope it's pie. Um. What's the word? I've been reliably informed that the bird is, in fact, the word. <laughs> What's the word? I haven't a clue. Alright, um... 
What's the word? Heal hauler. Something about that shack shivers me timbers. Well, that's odd. Don't most weather vanes only have four wind directions? Your shell looks so empty. Hmm, curious. Can I do something with this? Think... I don't think that a YouTube would be. I don't know. I don't want to blow that up. This Morgan LaFlay pirate hunter is half as nasty as his ads. I'd better give him a wide berth. Maybe use the poster on the creepy shack? I don't know. Davy. What do you get? Fire! What kind of sh? I'm going like a. I'm. Bye. Hey, bud. All right. Uh. Used by my YouTube offering. Doctor Defense, my eye! What have you done to my eye? I'll just come back later. Uh, 
I don't think a flower sky. Dead winds crest you <laughs> and a bottle of grog. Pop, 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 ow! I don't know why I keep doing that. Yeah, I don't know either. Um I'm not burning that up. I might need it. Someday. I'm not burning that up. I don't know. Oh, let's try timing it. One, okay, now what? two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Good thing Winslow's undies have so much crotchal support. Oh, monkey spit. Yeah, those are some sturdy undies. I don't think that's the way. Let's try again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Something to do with the crank. Those are some sturdy undies. That sock needs a good darning. Darn you, sock! Sheer, sexy, and playful, with plenty of support for the active pirate. About this Lafley guy? Morgan Lafley, beastly chap. Keeps a nest of trained scorpions. Scorpions, eh? I should try that. I don't think they'd be a. Hmm. It looks like this clothesline can be cranked from either side. Snazzy. This pirate? The flay? Ah, you'd best be steering clear of him if you know what's good for him. Right. Oh, really? I heard it. A friend of a guy who's... Why? Hey. What can you tell me about this Morgan LaFlay guy? He's a mystery, that one. How so? Stories about LaFlay started trickling in about a year ago. Frightening, fantastical tales of a hard as... Spooky? Spooky, sure. But none of the stories jived. One pirate would testify to a daring escape from a red-bearded giant. The next would spin a yarn about a peg-legged midget. Either there's a whole fleet of pirate...
Wind still. Nipperkin wasn't kidding about news. Any news? It's locked. No one. Oh heck. N e w s. Hey, the wind directions spell news. This means something. Most weather vanes only have four wind directions. Mm, I don't think so. What's the word? Nipperkin. Your hand blown glass unicorns. That contraption just screamed. YouTube would be useful there. Hey. I don't think they'd be amused by my Any news? Davy. What do you Bye. Keep up.
I don't know. N E W. Well, that's not going to work. I don't think a flower sconce would enhance the feng shui. Well, that's not going to... Well, that's not going to... Well, that's not... Well, that... Just getting desperate here. Yeah. Well, that's odd. Don't most weather vanes only have four wind directions? I mean, even if that's spelling something. That's Don't most weather vanes only have four wind directions? How do I say it to him? What's the word? I'm selling these fine leather j Maybe I can solve the ship puzzle right now. Lighting another one of those. I don't think that a YouTube would be useful there. It must be something. I don't think that a YouTube. I don't think that a YouTube. Would... It's a U shaped tube. The U must stand for unbreakable, I guess. I know you're supposed to stop and smell the flowers, but this pot looks like someone's... If this more... Ah. Nose-shaped flower pot. I wonder what the artist was trying to say with this flower pot. If I give you a flower, will you allow me to seize the screaming narwhal? By Jove, lad! That is by far the silliest attempt to get me off this ship in months. So you'll do it? <laughs> I'm going to be in the dead wind's craft, you. Who <laughs> in the bottle of grog? It's shaped like a nose. Why? I don't 
don't think a flower scum. I don't think that a YouTube would be useful there. Yeah, that's a good puzzle. It's a good thing Winslow's undies have so much crotchal support. No, don't, please. You'll have to be a lot sneakier than that if you want to knock me off, lad. Oh, I wouldn't say that. What? Clever boy. <laughs> well played, Master Threepwood. Or should I say, Captain Threepwood? Captain? Aye, now that you've bounced me off the screaming narwhal, you're officially its captain. Until someone else comes along and knocks you off. Sweet. I bloody well sweet it is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some massive internal hemorrhaging to attend to. Congratulations! I just got a tip. There's some kind of one piracy going on around here. Not just any wanton piracy. A genuine ship seizure committed by none other than Captain Guybrush Streetwood, mighty pirate. Uh, Guybrush is one word. Wonderful! I could probably get a week's worth of stories out of this. You know, Threepwood, you've got spunk. Pirate spunk. Ew. Now why don't you take a walk with me back to the keel hollow? Tell me a little bit more about yourself. Well, it all started back on Melee Island. And that's how I wound up here on Flotsam Island. Well, I don't know how you did it, Seapwood. But thanks to you, I've got enough sordid swashbuckling stories to keep the Flotsam Keel Hall and Gazette afloat for months. That'll show those bozos over at the Times. Yeah, that's, um, great. Now... My pleasure, Threepwood. Sit tight while I make you a copy. Copy? Tammy! Give me a copy of the deep gut file, Prado. Right away, Mr. Nipper King. <laughs> Here you go, kid. Everything you need to know to contact Deep Gut. Don't let anyone know I gave this to you, okay? Uh, my editor put me on deep cover in the obituary beat. Catch my drift? Not really, but. Great. Now, if you'll excuse me, Ace reporter Davy Nipperkin's got some headlines to grab. Finally. Now I can ask this deep gut person how to get off this island and back to Elaine. Hmm. Seems simple enough. Alright, I know how to get to the creepy shack. The word deadline. Welcome, Guy Brush. The Voodoo Lady. Boy, am I glad to see you. I've got so many questions. There'll be time enough for questions later. But first, hand me the Lachuk Slayer. The what? The cursed cutlass of Kaflu. Now that Lechuk has been destroyed, the cutlass must be ritually dismantled in a soul-chilling voodoo ceremony to ensure that his evil never reawakens. 
Yeah, about that. I tried to destroy LeChuck with the Cutlass, but I had to make some last-second substitutions, and there were some complications. What manner of complications? Well, the Cutlass didn't so much annihilate LeChuck as it turned him human. What? I couldn't believe it either. Personally, I think it's a trick. A human LeChuck. This is troubling. Can you help me? I'll do as much as the fates allow, but I fear that you will not like what I have to say. Have you got anything for my hand? I think I may have picked up a rash somewhere. Fascinating. And itchy. Can you fix it? No. Then what in the name of Satan's comb over are you good for, you bloated old sea hag? What was that? That was the Pox of Lechak. Uh, who, who, the what now? The Pox of Lechak. When your improperly enchanted cutlass turned Lechak into a human, all the evil voodoo juju within him had to go somewhere. Were you touching him at the time? I was. Does that explain the antisocial behavior and the crude gestures? Yes. Some of Lechak's evil has seeped into your hand. Do you have a cure? No. But I know where you can find one. I feel a piratey quest coming on. To eliminate the pox of Lechuk, you must seek out La Esponja Grande. The big sponge? La Esponja Grande is no ordinary sponge, Treepwood. It is a legendary sea sponge with incredible voodoo exfoliating abilities <laughs> capable of absorbing limitless quantities of voodoo mojo. Where can I find it? I have never seen it myself, but a former friend of mine, Coronado de Cava, spent many years searching for it. I last saw him in the Jerkbait Islands. Take this locket to him and tell him I vouch for your character. I'll get right on it after I find Elaine. That would be unwise, Guybrush. The pox of Lechuk must be eliminated before it spreads. Whatever. Can you tell me if Elaine is okay? Hmm. The view is hazy. Later. <laughs> but she could be in danger. I only know what the spirit... Can you... I'm afraid the winds of Flotsam are controlled by forces beyond... As I said, the mystery. Look, you can't tell me about Elaine. Without a mark of the voodoo on him, the Chuck's whereabouts. Do you have anything to? St the only way to safely deal with. What else can you tell? It's a creeping cloud of unstoppable evil <laughs> spreading the Chuck's. Ugh. Even now, I can sense the pox wending its way to this very island. Assuming that it's a giant magical sea sponge capable of absorbing immense voodoo energies. Tell me more about this locket. It was given to me by my friend. Why do you keep putting dramatic pauses around friend? Yes. He was my boyfriend. Icky. We met in the Jerkbait Islands many years ago. I fell in love with his treasure hunting mind and his beautiful eyes. He fell in love with my voodoo charms and my supple. La 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 la, not listening. Like a volcano. <laughs> but after several months of ocean steaming passion, our love cooled after he became obsessed with the myth of La Esponja Grande. When we parted, he gave me death. Sad and disquietingly graphic. You know, you've been helping me out for years, and I still... Names have power, Gybra Streepwood. Does my name have... Uh, sure, why not? Well, how'd you end up on Flotsam Island? I go. So you're Deep Gut? Davy Nipperkin? Yes. Why? 
the price of a voodoo lifestyle is not merely spiritual little pirate. Well, this has been disturbing, but I've got an island to escape, a wife to find, and apparently a giant voodoo-sucking sponge to hunt. May the fates guide you, God. Cool bocce ball. This is no bocce ball. Balls? Not right now. It's... Can't you use all the magical gunk in these bottles? The pox of Lecha. What's this? I recently found this contraption in a swamp. That really puts the die in diorama. Have you ever heard of this pi Hmm, this Morgan is unknown to me, but... <sighs> what was that? The past, the future. Would you like a flower? Hmm, a rare Vekalian daisy. They can be used to converse with certain sea creatures. What do they talk about? Fish, mostly. I don't think they'd be a... International House of Mojo brand hand lotion. Good for... Warning. Not for use against poxes. It's rats. Hey, I bet one of those creepy voodoo books could come in handy. This is not a lending lot. Yeah, right. Knock, knock. Guybrush, don't. Who's there? No. It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. You fool. What? I've spent months crafting a pyrite parrot of Petaluma, and you've ruined it before it was finished. Sorry. Worst air freshener ever. Hey, if you're done with this, can I have it? Fine. It's a... Who's the studliest pirate in the whole wide world? Ah, it's me, Guybrush Freak. <laughs> What's this? That is a shrine to Noah Treblig. Give him a flower? I don't think <clears throat> it's locked. Yes, and it will remain locked. I wonder what's in. Don't touch that. It's where I keep my. <laughs> Yummy. Frozen chicken gizzard, frozen newt eyes. Murray? What's this? Ah, the spirits have guided you well. That is a bottle containing an ancient scroll. Ancient sc Perhaps. But first, you'll have to figure out how... Unbreakable bottle? What? Some secrets are too... Anything else you want to tell me about? I purchased a scroll from a bitter old pirate named Magi. Spiffy rug. Is that some sort of voodoo foursquare court? That is the symbol of the crossroads. The intersection between this one. Really? Because I've never seen LeChuck. That is because LeChuck is a selfish abomination. Hoarding food. Like a toilet. Sure. Okay, I think I've interacted with everything. I'm not sure what kind of skull that is, but I hope I never run into one. This thing fell off the roof when I had my little LeChuck episode. I should get shouty more often. Hmm. Looks like the wind gods of Flotsam are pointing that away.
All right. Yeah, I'll finish that.